Hello and welcome to this episode of News Connect on City TV. On this episode, we speak to some on poster teachers who have picketed at the premises of the Ghana Education Service. Let's ask them why they have embarked on this move. My name is Kojo Ajman. Stay tuned. Now, walk us through the process so far. How long did you start chasing this posting um, from the regional level and now you have traveled to the um, headquarters of the Ghana Education Service? Okay. First of all, we are 2018 unposted graduates, trained teachers from the various teacher training colleges in the whole wide of this, uh, of this country, Ghana. Yeah, we have converged here today. And this is our motive. Our motive is that we are not posted. Fortunately for us, before we were to be posted, uh, GES, who is supposed to be our employer, told us that we should meet certain criteria. Fortunately for us, we have met all these criteria as regards to those who were posted. On the 21st of November 2019, the postings was released. Fortunately, Majority of us were posted, about 70% in my estimation, but 30% are at home. About, let's say, uh, roughly 3,000 to 4,000 graduates are at home. You are from West School, Wesley College of Education. Yes, Why have you traveled here? Um, because I think this is the safest place. Because we first went to the Great uh, Ashanti Regional Office and we were directed here. And this is where the minister is, so we have to be here for him to know that we are serious about the whole issue. I understand that before you are posted, you should have your licensure exam, uh, your certification. You should also have completed your national service, mandatory national service. And you should have passed your exam. Do you have all these three requirements? Yes, we do. We do. We do have our licensure certificate, our one year mandatory national service certificate, and our College of Education certificate. Uh, you also have the same? Yes, please. I even have the recruitment forms that is printed out for me. I even have everything. And your interactions, when did you get here, and how were you received, and what has the Ghana Education Service officials been telling you? Okay, I for one, I came here last month, that is last year, sorry, and I've been here throughout the whole of December, and we've been, as in, I've been giving excuses here and there from the PRO, HR, just to calm my soul down, but me, for instance, mm -mm -mm -mm, until I see the postings, that's when I'll be okay, and here are my colleagues supporting me, so we are here for the postings, that is it. Why are they at home? So we started to embark on this journey in order to inquire from GS. Why we were not posted? We went to the various regions, regional, uh, re, re, uh, regions of regional offices of GES. They told us that we should fill a template. We have filled all these templates which constitute, constitute of our details. These details should be sent to GES for further postings. We went further. We were waiting for the postings still all to no avail. On the 19th of December, we started that then we should come here. Then... That, that was where NTC published a list of those who have been confirmed. So if you have been confirmed, that means your name is in GS for further postings. So that means you shouldn't be here. We were still waiting. We thought that, oh, during the Christmas festive, then the posting will drop and we will be happy to enjoy the Christmas. All to no avail. The Christmas was very, very boring, pathetic. So we decided that to, yesterday will be our final day. We must come here and hear a good news. And we will not go until... Oh, our postings have been released. Right, I'll, I'll come back to you. So how has this affected you? Um, you're a young graduate teacher, hoping to go out there, teach and earn a living. But then here are you, you are home. This has really affected me because once I'm in the house, as at now, we don't know what we are doing. We are just in the house waiting for postings to come. Once um, people know that we are graduates, they expect us to start working. And we are just in the house without doing anything. And now you can't go out to look for a job because you know that postings will come for you to work. How do you feel when you see your colleagues um, who have been posted? Okay. Seeing those who have been posted, it, gives, it even gives us headache. Because when you see them going, 
you have all the criteria for you to be posted and you are in the house. What are you doing in the house at all? They are there d doing their teachings and you are in the house without doing anything. Talking about the criteria, I know you're supposed to um, have your licensure exam certification. You should have um, completed your national service and then you should pass your college of education exam. Have you attained all these qualifications? I have, I have every ne document necessary for my posting to be processed. If, if I am here with all the documents, that's why we are here to show you today, even if they need that. But no one is giving us a listening ear. I, I started coming here f uh, 21st November when the posting was released. When I went to the posting room to ask why I wasn't posted, because I was alone, first person here that day, they told me that uh, those who were posted were shortlisted. And I asked, what were the criteria for the shortlisting? They didn't tell me anything, but they only showed me to go to the PRO's office. When I went there, the PRO wasn't around. They know she, she wasn't around, so they sent me there. When I went there, it was only the National Service person. Well, well, the, 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 I have spoken to the PRO. She is telling me that, well, um, they are posting in badges. So if you haven't been posted, all you need to do is go to the regional education office. There's a template there which you have to fill your details. So why trouble yourself? Why go through all these um, um, trouble to acquire from wherever you're coming from to pick it here? That, that is what I'm trying to understand. Okay. For the templates, we have filled it twice. M I myself, I've been to Kumasi Regional Office to fill the templates twice. And I've been to Accra to fill another one, making it th um, th three. So filling the templates, we don't know what they are doing with with it because when we got to Ashanti region we asked whether the template has been submitted they told us that they have submitted it before the ESMAS so um, talking about the template we don't know and yesterday too when we came here the PRO also told us that um, two of the regions has not submitted their templates so we asked him what are the regions he should told us he should tell us the regions that has not submitted and he told us that he can't tell us for now. So we don't know whether what he's saying is true or not. Right. So have you have you filled the template yourself? Brother, senior man, senior brother, in fact, we have done all our possible best to comply to the decisions, to the requirements of GS in order to be posted. We are like my sister said, we have filled this template for about five good times, but all to no avail. Have you also done that? Yes, I've heard the template. And personally, we have representatives on all over the regions. So I personally called all the regions, the regional offices, to ask if they really submitted the templates. And as another, they've all confirmed that they have submitted all the templates. So I don't know where, which region we have elsewhere that does not submit the templates. I personally called. And they told me they have submitted all. But that is why I am here to tell them that what they told us, that information they gave us, is false. That will be all for this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kojo Achman. Keep watching City TV.